welcome back to some more Pikmin 3 Deluxe, where last time, we surprisingly took care of the rest of the distant tundra. I was fully expecting us to take two days there, and uh, yeah, somehow we didn't. I'm actually very well surprised with that. At this time, I want to mention something really quick with the distant tundra. There is something I forgot there, which was a data file. Um, Back in that area with the bull bears, there's a data file hidden in the leaves in the middle of the arena, and I just completely forgot about it because it's very well hidden, so. At least, I think it's there in the Wii U version, I, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's there in the deluxe version. I'll kind of put a screenshot of where it exactly is if you're going after all the data files. If there's any other data files that I do just straight up miss, please let me know in the comments because I have never been one to collect all the data files in this game, so for B, sometimes I'll skip over them by accident, so in case you want me to go through all the data files, I may go to a different, er, I may dedicate an episode just to getting all the remaining data files that I completely missed, but yeah, be sure to let me know which ones I missed in the comments below, because I am a moron and always forget where they are, so anyways, today we are going to the tropical wilds, we're finally exploring this place fully. Well, maybe not fully, but we're gonna try to, damn it. Okay, um, I'm on attempt number two for this. I don't like resetting days a lot. I've only done it once just because it was at the start of a day. However, I had a really fun thing happen on my end, and, uh... As we're grabbing Pikmin here, I'm just gonna show you what the crap just happened. So let's just throw these guys up here. I don't really like the bomb rocks being up here. What are you doing? Why did they set them off? Why did they set them off? How many did I lose? Oh my god. <laughs> well, that changes plans. <laughs> uh, that's definitely being a uh, blooper. Um, wow. Why did they just drop them? <laughs> uh, yeah, that, yeah, no, that, that is easily the most amount of deaths I have ever had. I don't know why they dropped Bomb Rocks. That's, that was a glitch from Pikmin 1, and exclusively on the GameCube version, where they just throw, go up there and drop them. I don't know why they did that, but, uh, here we are. So, two rocks accounted for the mass genocide of their species. I'm bringing 25 reds and 75 wings. <laughs> for something I want to go and take care of that we were trying to take care of a while ago. The reason for the wings is for, well, something. Uh, first of all, this. And uh, on my failed day, this pyroclastic swooch was being, well, it wasn't even a swooch. It was Charlie being stupid. The, to explain, I was trying to have Charlie come back through here on the go command. What he kept doing was running into the pyroclastic swooch over and over again. I don't know why, he almost died from it. But anyways, purpose of today is, well, there's one major area I want to open up, but I also want to get the upgrade item over here, so. Those are the main two focuses of today. I'm gonna toss a bunch of wings up there. Shouldn't be too many, but I'm probably just gonna try to throw all of them. The only reason I brought reds over here was just to take care of the swooch, so. That is why I did that. Throw all of them up here. There we go. And Alpha's just gonna go back to the Drake. As for you guys, you're just gonna work on this. Now, I tried so hard to cheese that item up there by just charging the wings. They, for some reason, will never see it. I don't know why, I tried that on the failed day. And uh, here we are, yeah. Brittany, you're also gonna go back to the Drake. Ch uh, Charlie, but yeah. The reason why I don't like trying to reset days is because I don't like going through the game like heavily optimized or anything like that because, uh, oh, you got these guys. Uh, actually, murder them. These guys are annoying for a different reason. Um, I don't remember what their names are. Don't go, where are you guys going? Okay, uh, just, I'll follow you. Uh, okay, no, I'm just gonna call them back. Is there any other wings that are out here that I'm missing? No. But yeah, I wanna show that you don't have to play through this game. Also, this view is really pretty. I know I'm getting distracted, sorry. But, um, I'm gonna throw it. What is this? Gyro. 
the main point of what I'm trying to say is that I want to play through the game completely casually because I know not everybody wants to go through the game heavily optimized. So that's that. That's what I was trying to say. Anyways, you guys, uh, why don't I do that? Actually, I have to you guys go back anyways. Because we got a peach up here. Or whatever it's called in this game. Alright, call those guys. Uh, really? You're drowning. I, oh boy. This game is, ar what are you doing? Why are you stuck on the ledge? Get, you oh, okay, now the trick's going. What is this day? Why is this day just out to kill me? Analyzing recovered item. We got ourselves the Metal Suit Z. This undergarment increases the spacesuit's durability. I remember seeing these back on Kopai. Not easy to come by these days. <laughs> it's even got instructions with it. Let's note this down in the expiration notes. And I guess the rock is joining us in our uh, Super Saiyan form. Increases durability of your spacesuit. So we can take a lot more hits, which is kind of pointless. What are you wings doing? Get! Oh! Are you guys really stuck? Okay, Jesus, what the crap was that? All right, go over here. Um, you guys are doing nothing. I mostly want to swap a bunch of Pikmin out for rocks because there is an area that, actually the area where a bunch of the rocks just murdered themselves. I want to bring a bunch of rocks over there. This time I'm not freaking bringing bomb rocks, God. <sighs> that was stupid. And there's also a whip tongue bulb over that I want to murder here. Because I don't like whip tongue. Uh, yeah, I do not like whip tongue bulb orbs. Those things are the bane of my existence. So I'm bringing like a hundred rocks. Not even kidding. Well, do I want to bring a hundred rocks? I, well, I have to open this up anyway, so I might as well bring a hundred. Hello, my rock friends. This time I will not make you guys murder your entire species. I still, still don't know why that. I'll have to look during editing, but. Because usually editing me is a lot better at noticing what the crap happened. Uh, you got tossed into the water. How? Heading over here. I uh, will straight up just don't recommend bringing bomb rock uh, Pikmin over here because they will just kill your entire friends. So over here. Yeah, rocks rolling down. That's coming from an armor uh, armor cannon larva. Rock Pikmin are completely immune to it. So other Pikmin will just straight up die to that. So that's why I don't recommend bringing anything but rocks. Why is the gyro going to the left? I am constantly moving my controller to the right. This is why I hate the gyro in this game, but I refuse to play this game with no gyro. Or, I refuse to play this game. Come on, what are you guys doing? And you're just falling. I refuse to play this game without gyro because I hate not having the Wii-esque controls. You're going back here. Okay. And, oh my god, are you kidding? Nope, all right, Alf, come back. What is wrong with everybody today? Am I just not, and I call everybody back. Am I just not throwing everybody far enough? Is that what's, what's happening? Because that's what I feel like is happening. I just spam A, and the gyro keeps wanting to correct my movement. Thankfully the Pikmin won't roll down the hill. You just have to call it back. See, this one, freaking gyro wants to keep turning it to the left, and that's not what I'm doing. I'm holding it in one spot. All right. You guys, keep an eye out there just in case. Get out of the ground. Okay, I'm gonna deal with this car uh, camera log. First. Yeah, first then. This is the guy that's causing all the rocks to come down. This is actually an armored cannon larva. So, the other one's an arctic one. Get out of the ground! <laughs> You've been sitting there the entire time. Okay. So, I'm, I keep calling Alf by accident. You guys just go over there. I don't want them grabbing the corpse because that's pointless. The only way from this area on to get back to the Drake is in a really long route. And you guys are gonna go over there anyways. Okay, fine. Toss all the rocks up there as fast as humanly possible. Actually, oh, where's Charlie? Charlie, get, no, okay. They should see that they can't go past. Uh, They can see that they can go past, crap. Okay, Charlie, grab this. You guys grab that. Okay, head over here. Whole new area. Great commentary there, Charlie. Okay, guys, don't go over there, you morons. 
What they're trying to do is they're trying to go all the way around and go through this route leading back. Actually, I don't even think that's a route you can take. So where the crap are they trying to take that? Okay, whatever. So, well, let's just let them do this. Um, uh, well, actually, I do want them to bring it down at least. So yeah, the main thing is I want to get these... Or I want to get this bridge built. And we have a spotty bull orb. These are different from bull bears. These guys are just more tanky versions of bull orbs. Uh, just rush. Whoa! What? <laughs> Where did you go, buddy? Jesus! That was cool! Man pulled a Tony Hawk trick! That was awesome! So, uh, yeah. The other two are kind of just gonna go back to base. I could have them do something else if I took less rocks, but I want to have 100 rocks to take care of all the tasks over here, so... Alright, you guys take care of that. There's also Scudder Chucks and other uh, enemies that rocks just completely destroy. Again, this is why we love Rock Pikmin, because they just trivialize a lot of the puzzles here. Anyways, you got Wally Wogs over there, there's some fruit, you got Fiery Blowhog. This area is kind of hell on earth. Because there's also a Arista Crab. Uh, yeah, way over there, so. If I can, I might try to lure him over here, but uh, I want this Wally Walk dead first and foremost. And. Charge! Perfect. So, there is also a trick with the Arista Crabs that I do want to show later, but, uh, can you please. No, you're just gonna do your own thing. Okay. Focus on the bridge, because then I can bring every Pikmin over here. So. I'm gonna have a few of the rocks to take care of this, and we're gonna go around and... Oh, okay, that's just peachy. You got these uh, weird enemy things. I Again, I already put the screen or name on screen earlier, so... They like to just make enemy... Or make enemies. They like to make Pikmin go and attack them rather than take care of tasks, so... And you see how powerful rock Pikmin are? Because they can just completely ignore the fire in the flames to, well, murder these pirate classic squishies. So, uh, Gyro, what are you doing? All right, call them back, call them back. We're fine, guys, you're fine. Where are you running? Uh, okay, those guys are weird. And that's a very well-hidden plum. So, oh yeah, there is a path back here. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, I want you guys to destroy this. But the main reason I came all the way over here... Ooh, that's spicy nectar. Or spicy spray. Haven't had it on the ground before. The main reason I wanted these guys to come over here is so that we can get some bomb rocks, because to it'd be completely honest with you, I need this gate open so that they could just go on through. There's a lot of things to do. I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of talking for this. But, uh, yeah. So they're taking care of that. Um, I know they're not taking care of the bridge right now. I guess I could just... I guess they are. Okay, never mind. Where are you guys? Are you guys done? Make sure you grab that bomb rock. Alright, perfect. Let's get you guys on over here. So many of these rocks. I love just bringing 100 rocks because it's just really funny. And I guess I can have you guys bring back that fruit. Uh, or are you going to attack the mushrooms? Okay, you morons. <laughs> I swear, all the Pikmin have just lost their IQ today. I don't know what's happening. No! I just don't want you attacking mushrooms. There's no enemies over there, is there? Um, uh, they might get attacked by that. I, I can keep an eye on them with Alfred Brittany. They should be fine, theoretically. So coming over here, holy crap, a lot of bri uh, bridge pieces. They're actually just now getting done, perfect. I'm gonna see if it's two. If it's two, that's perfect. Nope, it takes three. It does not take two, because otherwise that'd be a different game. You guys go take care of this bridge. Beautiful. And uh, I'm gonna wait on the grapes for that. How are you guys oh, yeah, doing over here? Um, if press A here, yeah, okay. I never did show this off. If you want to call Pikmin that are not in the squad back to the onion, you can do that from here. Which is really cool. It also, <laughs> the bad thing with that is that it lost the ability, at least the dolphin's ability to heal your captains. Which usually isn't a problem, but in my case it is. Okay. So you guys are done with that. Is the bridge done? I think it is. Yeah, okay. You guys start taking back some corpses and these grapes. Uh, okay, yeah, you guys are just going one at a time. That's fine. And, okay, good. They avoided that hermit cromad. That's what my main thing was for right now. I also want to get some more bomb rocks over here, because there is something I want to go and take care of, but... 
We shouldn't need any more of the rocks. Um, I guess I can just have you guys bring some fruit back. Sure. And then we'll just have everybody come back. Because there's a couple more gates I want to go and take care of. Uh, there's just a rock thing by himself. All right. Call you guys as much as I can. There we go. Because there is another boss here, too. Not like an area boss, but one of those mini bosses. I'm probably going to try to save him for tomorrow. Okay. Hello, everybody. I am not that guy. <laughs> I w uh, Well, that's not true. I don't wish to be anybody else but myself. But he's a very good guy, as far as I can tell. Anyway. So, we don't need any more rocks. Uh, What do I want to do? I definitely want a bunch of yellows. May just take yellows and blues. Uh, let's take 40 yellows. I got a couple of ideas with you guys. I'm gonna toss you guys over here. Hello, my yellows. Uh, you're gonna go over here real quick. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. The rest I'm gonna put in the blues. I'm hoping I get to show what I wanna show off. Actually, um, uh, yeah, I don't want yellows doing that. Alright, you guys go over here. I'm hoping we... Uh, there's still three blues. Okay. I want to show something with the Aristocrab that makes them trivially... Uh, trivially... Yes. Trivially easy to kill. Because those things suck to fight normally. Alright, you guys work on this. Right. Get that opened. And uh, get the bomb rocks, you guys. That is one complaint I don't like, is that they don't automatically go for bomb rocks. I don't know why they don't, but... Anyways, there's still a lot of fruit around here that we can grab. I'm kind of just wanting to clear out this area first and foremost. I sorry, I'm sorry if a lot of these. Uh, well, it should only take us two days in here. Uh, Charlie, there's really no other bomb rock spots, is there? Uh, okay, I have an idea. Maybe we can save some stuff. Don't be fooled with this fruit icon, by the way. That is something that you have to fight for. So. I'm gonna see if he can take some wings and get some random fruit that are in the area. The reason I want to get some bomb rock blues is because, thankfully, bomb rocks don't activate in the water. Hey, there's the crab. Take that. And take it again. Up, oh, he just clawed my dude. Don't run away from it. Yeah. You can straight up just blow. Oh god, right, they have that attack. You can blow up their claw, which is awesome. Okay. Come on. Kill this aristocrat. Kill the aristocrat. Blue's really suck for fighting. Okay. And for some reason, he had a avocado. Okay. I'll have to wait for those guys. You swap out yellows for wings, and I'm going to try to get a really quick fruit if I can. Um, and there's also another thing with the bomb rocks. I kind of wish I was able to save one. Oh, God. That's not going to happen. Well, I'm going to at least try to move it out of the where the crap is it. Oh, God. I can at least try to move it into the... Eh, no. No, we'll come back here. So, what all do we have left? There's this cherry here. There's a couple things we need yellows for over here. Um, There's still wallywogs out here, but you can pretty much ignore them. There's a fruit you gotta dig up here. And then the rest are the caves. Okay. So, I did what I wanted to do. I wanted to open this area up completely, which is really nice. But, uh, yeah, we still have a lot of things to do, so... I'm hoping I can finish it in the next day. I'm not going to hold any promises, but I'm going to hope that we can finish out the rest of this area tomorrow. If we don't, then that's fine, because there is something in Twilight River that I may have to do. I am thinking about combining two days into one, because there's literally only two fruits and an item there that we haven't collected, and that's it. The rest of the day would probably just be, be farming spicy spray, so... Yeah, it's... I don't know. I'm thinking about combining two days. It depends on if we finish this area out completely tomorrow, but we'll see. Saying a lot of my thoughts, and I don't know why they gave so much attention to that whipped on pull board. I digress. But overall, not a bad day. Uh, at least we didn't have a genocide on our hands. Uh, that was... Man, that was horrible. Delectable bouquet... <laughs> I've never had a kill like that. That is something only uh, only bad luck would give you. Yeesh. I digress. I'm going to stop ranting on that. 
And we have a mock bottom. I guess because it looks like a butt. I don't know. I don't like peaches. I like that color though. It's like light pink. And lesser mock bottom. Dawn pustules. And velvety dream drop. 68 day well it's gonna turn into 67, but 67 days worth of provisions. We have over two months of a supply just to chill out here. And there's still more fruit here. It's awesome. So uh we lost one? No, we didn't lose any. Okay, I thought we lost one. Not too bad. After observing these winged Pikmin, my conclusion is that they're not very effective in combat. However, since they possess the ability to fly, they can be extremely useful for accomplishing certain tasks. I will keep an eye out for any opportunities to utilize their unique ability. Oh boy, their unique ability, yeah. They can straight up just cheese puzzles. I've shown before, winged Pikmin are broken as a utility. Number 15. No, there's no Burger King foot lettuce here. There's not even lettuce here because we're going after fruits. Uh, let us chat before we end things off. What Those hocatations. I can't believe I thought they only ate vegetables. Judging by Louie here, I'd say they pretty much eat anything they can get their hands on. I think this is the same dialogue. Yeah, this is the same dialogue. Wow. Okay. So much for that. There's a lot of other dialogue pieces in the game, but uh, I guess they didn't want to go through them. Anyways, next time on Pikmin 3 Deluxe, we're going to hopefully finish off the Tropical Wilds. I'm not holding anything to mind for that, but there's some major things I want to take care of over here. But besides that, next time on Pikmin 3, that's what we'll probably be doing. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.